I'm Sir Tap Dap, and my goodness, that music brings back some good old memories. This is Wild Arms Million Memories, the pretty much brand new mobile game. I guess it came out last week, but uh, it's only in Japan for now. Um, it's um, somewhat standard. I mean, there is a Gashapon, but uh, the interesting thing is characters are not Gashapon, and there's no stamina system. So, there is Gashapon for equipment and spells, basically. I haven't played this with the music on yet, so... It's been a long time since I played Wild Arms, but, uh... The music, well, a little loud on my end, is uh, bringing back some good vibes here. Um, as you can see, I got Rudy. I just got these three. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure who she is. Wait, can you see my... Oh, you can't see my cursor. Hold on, let me fix that up. It's not really ideal to play on PC. On I'm playing this on Nox Player, which I play most of my games in. I got a $30 replacement phone while I wait for the Pixel 3 to come out. Uh, it does not play this game very well. Uh, this is a fairly intensive game. Uh, it looks quite good. Um, let's just pop into a battle here. So as you can see, there's a Halloween event going on. Hi, Parker. And I'm just going to go ahead and dive into that uh, Halloween thing. I don't know exactly how the Halloween thing works, but there seems to be some Halloween costumes that you can equip for your characters. I don't know if those are from... Oh, you're new. I didn't know. Um, like I said, the characters are not Gashapon, so you just have to progress through the story to get them. And uh, that's pretty cool. I don't know. She's from the later. I've only played Wild Arms 1 and 2, the PlayStation 1 games. Um, I think there was a PSP game? I I've been interested in getting into the other ones, but I getting into RPGs is hard. I, <laughs> I just never have the time. But... Um... I really enjoyed the first two. I got them on, um, I played them on PSP, actually. Um, they were very good between classes things for college. Um, just some good classic PlayStation 1 RPGs. I still really enjoy that feel. And, um, uh, the, the games, as you can see, once it finally loads. The loading is the one thing I have a fairly major complaint about. The game's very slow to load. And the loading bar, if you notice, it lies. <laughs> it, like... It starts at like a lower number that it eventually ends up. It's weird. So it's good to know this character is in there. I don't know who all is the playable characters. Um, there's a real cutie who like runs the train that I don't know who... I don't know if she's playable or not. I haven't seen anybody have her set as the follower thing. But yeah, the way these events seem to work is that you get these event points. Those are the EP. And you, can, you use those. You basically unlock rewards per certain um like milestones of event points halloween indeed um so there was this earlier event that i pretty much cleared i got the special five star gear from there's still some more rewards but since since there's no action point there's no uh stamina system you can play as much as you want which is so rare for these kind of games so even though it's all in japanese i've been meaning to get like a quick quick start guide on my site I've just been... Well, can you... I've been relaxing. Can you say that you've been busy relaxing? I, I guess kind of. But I haven't really done that quite yet. Um, I got pretty much the basics down. I feel like there's got to be something. I'll definitely follow you. Uh, this is one of those games where you can loan a character. And the, the character loans are extremely important in this game. Because you only get one... You control your character directly. It's not turn-based, as you just kind of saw. Um, so the... Having a second person is like, you know, doubling your firepower, and as you can see, they were kind of higher level than me. So, uh, having a second character to loan can really carry you pretty well. Let's just see if there's any other characters I haven't seen before. Uh, this, this girl, I don't... I don't know what, what thing she is. She's very cute, though. Um, a bit more... You can tell which ones are from the later games, because they're, they're a lot more, like, complicated and flashy designs, whereas the ones from the first game are just kind of basic stuff. And I like Rudy. Uh, if you click them on the main screen, they say stuff. Uh, it's Japanese, so I can't really read it. But Rudy's just ellipses because he's uh, he's a silent protagonist sort of deal. So I thought that was really cute. Obviously, when you play a game in a language you don't all the, fully understand yourself or <laughs> to any particular degree, in my case, uh, you lose some things. But it's a bit of a fun little trip through, you know, Wild Arms. And the game, as far as Gasha stuff, it seems... Pretty neat. Uh, a lot of people asked if I was going to play Dragalja Lost. I guess that's the new Nintendo mobile RPG thing. Um, somebody who has much higher tolerance for Gashapon games than I do um, said that they 
the, the rates were really bad, and he's like, the, the one bad thing about the game is the rates, but they're like really bad. They're worse than Fate Go. And Fate Go is my like, if anybody even mentions Grand Blue or Fate Go, and like, oh, the rates are kind of like Fate Go, it's like, I'm like, no. No, go to hell. No, burn. Burn this foul game. Um, I don't know what the rates are for this game, but since the rates, since they're not for characters, uh, I don't really care that much. It's just gear, which I mean, I'm sure gear is very important. It's like a significant amount of stats and stuff, and I'm sure you want to get, you know, your five-star gear. And I, I have only done like one ten pull, and I did not get any five-star. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure the rates are listed somewhere, but I don't really care that much in this game, just because it's like. Let me cast a skill, by the way. Oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> let me cast my freaking heal then. Um, there's a dash that I've been neg neglecting to do. Oh, and you can do force ability that kind of- oh. <laughs> As you can see, my teammate does a lot more damage than me. Now, I don't care too much about the Gashapon when it's not for characters, but... When it's for characters, it's like, ooh. Yeah, here's that event point system I was talking about. Uh, you can check the, the rewards. Let me do that real quick. I, I tend to just blaze through and just kind of grind things mindlessly because I don't fully understand things yet myself. I've been meaning to uh, start writing things down. I will definitely follow you. If you want to start this game, follow some higher level characters. Um, they can really carry you through a lot of the early stuff. Though some of the story levels have a forced character that you have to use, like an NPC. So that kind of prevents how far you can get carried through the main story at least. Um, let me see what rewards we can get here. There were costumes? I saw that were really cute. I don't know what the cost- I don't know if the costumes- Are you gonna load? I don't know if the costumes- I don't- Oh, here's some rewards. I don't know if the costumes are part of these rewards or if they're part of the Gashapon or how that is. There's a stamp. I've seen the stamp on people's things. I don't know if it just means you've got that far. I don't know if it does anything. I don't see costumes here. I don't know what this one is. The, the game does seem a little buggy. It's crashed a couple times. Um, not anything super major. Sometimes things just don't load. The main thing is the, the loading's really slow. Um, <laughs> there is a Halloween Gashapon in here. I, I'm i gonna do... I think I have enough to do the equipment. I haven't done a 10 pull on equipment yet. And I... <laughs> my equipment is Garbo. So... Let's see that pickup. The pickup means like the things... the best things you can get. He's the fancy boy 5 stars. Um... I don't know if these are the costume items, or I'm not entirely sure how that works. I haven't got any of these yet. I think I got a free ticket to do one. Yeah. It looks like the free tickets work on the uh, the event thingies too. So that's nice. Some of these events, or some of these games, I'll let you do that. Again, I don't know this dude. He's <laughs> he's from one of the later games. It's been a long time since I played the. Um, since I played the PlayStation 1 games either, so... My memory of Wild Arms is not really super strong, but... I think I'll just do a 10 pull here. You... 10 pulls are cheaper? I don't... know if it increases the rates or not. I haven't... Is there a thing that lists the rates? I don't... There usually is, I think... At least in China, you're legally required to list that. I don't know if... Oh, I think that's probably this, isn't it? It's not... It's not loading. Um... Oh, there it is. It's just slow. Oh, it's like 4% for 5 star. That's not great. But the thing about Dragology Lost, um, so the rates for 5 stars is, I think it's 2% they said, but it's not just 2 star characters. So, like, you don't have a 2% chance to get a 5 star character. Um, characters, something called dragons, I don't know what that means exactly, and... Um, Equipment are all in the same pool. Somebody said they re-rolled the game 30 times to do like a big pull, and um, I don't know how many chances you get per re-roll, but they just, it was on Reddit, people discussing the terrible rates. They did it 30 times and they only got a character once. And then of course there's somebody like, well, it gives you a sense of achievement. Uh, what was that EA thing that they said? Um, like he was genuinely talking about, oh, it feels like an achievement, which is just like that EA post about, you know, what was that? Worst EA Reddit comment. Let me just find this real quick. EA had just had an amazing... No, no, let me see that comment. Because it was just... <laughs> amazing. 
minus 600,000 points on Reddit. The intent is to provide players with a sense of pride and accomplishment for unlocking different heroes. Gambling is not <laughs> doesn't give you a sense of, of pride and accomplishment. Yeah, so the five stars are pretty rare, but like I said, it, they're not characters, so I don't really care too much. And that's the thing that would bug me even more about Dragology Lost. Like, not only is five star rate low, the character rate, it's like a one in 30, I guess. Well, I don't know if it's the exact rate, but it's like less than one in 10 rate for, um, for a, um, thinger. A, a character, which is like I I only want the character. I'm less interested in the um, the stupid things. Oh, hey, that's nice. So that's one of the Halloween thingers. We got some four stars. Oh, this is a much better poll than I did a, a skill poll earlier. I got I got like two four. I actually think I got one four star and the rest was three stars. I was like, wait a minute, what are the poll rates for this game now? So is this? I don't know if that's the costume thing. I don't. Like I said, I, I still need to figure out. If anybody has played this game, um, let me know if there's like any inf any guides existing already. But I was kind of interested in doing like a quick guide of Reno. I don't know if you're. I don't know how the costumes work. That's something I would be particularly interested in. But how do I swap? So I bet if I swap this with like that, we'll be like way stronger. And you can level up gear too. I don't think that's the costume. I wonder if you just get the costume for beating the thing arena, the uh, the event. Yeah, I don't fully understand everything in this game, obviously. Um, yeah, these are the costumes here. So she does have a costume. Right, hold up here. Rudy, whoever this is, and whoever that is, all have like real costumes that you can play in gameplay. I don't. Oh, are they paid? I don't understand. Uh, I think this is asking me to pay or something. I, I need to whip out some Google Translate. Uh, the Google Translate app is actually fantastic for playing Japanese games, let me tell you. Um, you can take a screenshot of the game and uh, put it into Google Translate, and it'll translate. The, it's, you know, it's not the best translation in the world, but you can usually figure out what it's trying to say to you. Um, it's been very helpful for me in the past. Um, my problem is that I, I don't play this on my phone, so I can't take a direct screenshot. I mean, I could send a screenshot to my phone, but it's just like an extra step in the way that would usually not be there. Let's see if I can progress in the story a little bit here. So this story segments, I don't I don't bother translating the story stuff, because I mean, I don't know half the characters. It's gonna It takes a fair amount of time to try and translate, but there is some story stuff. I don't remember these rabbit things. Were these added in later Wild Arms games? Because I don't particularly remi remember them. Yeah, there's little story segments. But <laughs> I don't get the rabbits. There's these duders. I <laughs> they really got into the, like... They have this, like, disco Wild West aesthetic to the later ones. <laughs> Everybody wears, like, really flashy clothes, and I guess... I guess they got tired of the plane. They kind of duded up Rudy and they kind of flashed these boys up too a bit. They weren't quite that fancy in the original, but uh, I always thought it was kind of an interesting, you know, most JRPGs they go for either, you know, usually the kind of medieval, um, you know, medieval European thing, or occasionally medieval Asian stuff like uh, Suikoden, Suidoken, how do you say that? Uh, that was kind of more like that. Uh, but Wild Arms, I mean, you know, it's Wild West, so that was pretty cool. Though, um, Dark Cloud 2 almost kind of has that kind of feel to it. You know, you got a steam train, or a coal train, all that stuff. Um, anyway, I don't, I don't understand the story things, but as you progress through the story, you unlock more characters. So, I don't know if the, the, the goggles train cutie, let me try to show you her, she's... She seems important, but like I haven't seen anybody able to play as her, or like in the at least in the follows thing. How do I see? No, oh, she's usually like the one that does the summoning, but I don't know if you can see her without summoning. Uh, eh, I'll just do a rando one pull on here. I don't. I assume she's from one of the later games because she's got. Well, I mean, she has to be because I haven't seen her. Oh, it's a shit card. Yeah. 
I almost find it rude that you can kind of tell, you tell what order or what rarity the items are, and so I was like, oh yeah, it's a three star. But yeah, that's Wild Arms Million Memories. Um, I'm still kind of just figuring out how the heck to play it. I I needed to do some tra basic translations and stuff for the guide, unless somebody already has a nice quick start guide out. And if somebody does, uh, give me a link, I guess, and I can help myself with that. I wonder if these are just paid things. Anyway, that's pretty much the game. Uh, I've been enjoying it. I, I really enjoy that there's no frickin' stupid stamina system, so you can just enjoy the game. Imagine just being able to play a game. Isn't that weird? Just being able to have fun? <laughs> that's not what mobile games are about, right? Right? <laughs> anyway, I don't know if this will be... like, localized anytime soon. It's... I mean, it's not like a... Like, Wild Arms haven't really, we haven't really had a game in a long time, so it's kind of a random pop-up. But I mean, we got, well, Square usually does the localizing. I was kind of surprised we got the Star Ocean one, but Square is usually, or Square Enix, uh, usually fairly good about that on the mobile side. They localize pretty much everything. Um, I don't know in this case. I, don't, I also don't know what, what Sony's involvement is. Sony owns the property. I don't know if they just licensed it out to a different studio or what their exact relationship to it is. But, uh, I think it's pretty fun, and I was kind of surprised. The combat seems pretty fun. It's a little, you know, it's a fun game. It's moderately simple, but, uh, you know what? Let's do one more battle here. I wonder if I'll get a new character. There, It's been a while. I got the first three duders pretty fast. Yeah, this guy I don't have yet either. I don't... <laughs> he looks very Rudy-like. I don't know if that's... No, he's got a different eye color. He can't be, like, older Rudy. He's... Probably just one of those, like, callback protagonists. A lot of series do that where, like, the later protagonist, like, looks a little bit like the, the earlier protagonist. Like, hmm. I think uh, Fire Emblem has a noted Marth, <laughs> Marth protagonist problem. They've got it broken out of that, though. I haven't really seen any new Marth. So they had Lucina, who is literally <laughs> pretends to be Marth. I thought that was I thought that was absolutely hilarious. That everybody everybody who only knows Fire Emblem from Smash Bros. like me just sees like 50,000 Marths, and then they had a new character, and her gimmick is that she looks like Marth, and she introduces herself as Marth. It's like, yep, that's Marth, all right. That's girl Marth, one of the rarer Marths. <laughs> The elusive female mark. Wow. He's a noisy boy, this guy here. Also, there's a difference between the shooting and, like, melee damage. So, like, some enemies you prefer to shoot, some you prefer to melee. I think that yellow, or that blue, you know, what, what, is, what is colors, anyway? That blue means I'm using the wrong kind of attack, I think. Rudy is more melee-focused. Some characters are more gun-focused. Um... This girl here, more gun focused. I think she only does guns even. And guns, guns still have a limited range, so you can't just, like, flee everything. Oh, and there's actually, let me check for something. There's actually treasure chests. It, it really feels like a nice PlayStation 1 dungeon map sometimes, because there's, like, little treasure chests you can go and get. Ah, here we go. And you can get cards and stuff. So that's neat. And this seems like the events, they have events where you can get some free five-star stuff too. So even if you can't do the Gashapon, or if you get bad luck in the Gashapon, doesn't seem like a huge deal. Dangerous boss! Look at, look at the danger of this boss. I better not say too much because he's probably like way over my level or something. Oh, <laughs> he's not. He's exactly as pathetic as he looks. These guys just seem to resist everything. Oh, you can do charge attacks, too. I keep forgetting to do that. Everyone's charge attack is a little different. So she has a nice, like, all-around kind of thing. Good for groups. Rudy has, like, a just forward charge shot, like a Mega Man kind of thing. Speaking of Mega Man, didn't Mega Man 11 come out today? I think it did. I haven't got it yet. I, mean, I need to finish Dark Witch 3 anyway, so probably play that first. Oh, also the Gashapon currency you can get like in gobs. I mean, you need a lot of it. Uh, as you saw, I need I need 300 for a 10 pull or an 11 pull. Um, in the equipment thing, you need 500. In the other one, but you get like five. You can get five for like each run, and you can just play it on auto, or you can just like use a macro and knock player, <clears throat> which is maybe what I do. 
and you can just basically grind for infinite Gashapon currency, which usually, that's like such a big no-no in these Gashapon games. Like, this game is so generous, it's kind of ridiculous. It lets you do so much stuff. I'm almost worried that they'll like, try and nerf it and like make it less generous, but I don't know how they would do that, because like that would probably be a pretty big outcry if they're just like, you know what, we're gonna introduce a stamina system. Like, I've never heard of a game just straight up adding that. Oh, please tell me I get her to add it to my party. She looks fun to play. Plus, I just need more party members. Like, come on. You gotta appreciate anyone in booty shorts with like little lace. They're like cutoffs, but like with fancy boy lace. I'm sorry, I say fancy boy at least three times every video. It's it's in my contract. We got a shovel! I've to I fully understand. We are using the shovel to to um to bury the body of our nemesis. And she's very happy about it. Mattingly, I told you to trim those sideburns! Can you imagine having this much hair? I have like less hair than Rudy and I hate it. I I wish <laughs> sometimes I wish I could just like shave it. I mean I could, but I I don't think it would look good bald. Um But it's like I like having just like like a quarter of an inch or less of hair, or that's maybe even too too long. I just like I don't like having much hair. It gets in the way. It gets sweaty, it gets, you know wind blows it around. I don't like hair. But I mean, when you're anime, your hair is just perfect at all times. So, that's gotta be nice. Or it's gotta involve gallons of hairspray every morning. One or the other. I don't fully understand what some of these things you get. One of the dumber things is that the, the premium currency looks exactly like the regular currency. It just has like a little word after it. I've never seen a game that just doesn't differentiate them. I thought this was like a special like cheaper pull that you could do for only 10 things, but no. It wants you to pay, it's 10 expensive ones. Why is it the same exact icon? Like, come on guys. Make it like diamond or gold or something. Anyway, yeah, that's Wild Arms Million Memories, and if you played any kind of mobbage stuff, you, you can probably figure it out just playing it even just in Japanese like I do. I don't have any special thing that allows me to play easily. I, I don't know Japanese myself, but uh, pretty easy to just poke around in, and uh, I've been enjoying it. Obviously, I haven't spent any money in it either. I don't know how to spend money in it. I assume, I mean, this thing, this is usually like a way to go to the shop. But I don't know. Hey, you can tap them. This is this is what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> Rudy just does the good old silent protagonist thing. Thought that was cute. I don't know what they're saying though. Anyway, that's the game. Thanks for watching.